there's a fine line between vision and hallucination. In innovation, we don't know if it's a good idea or not. So we need to act differently than executors. I'll give you an example. Some of you might've heard of Better Place. So very noble undertaking. It was a startup that wanted to make electric vehicles commonplace. And they said, what's the biggest pain? Charging the vehicle. So what if we had battery, a battery swapping infrastructure? You drive in, you drive out, and you're fine after two, three minutes, like a conventional car. And they raised capital for this wonderful idea because there was a sustainability aspect, huge market. They had a wonderful business plan. They had a great spreadsheet, beautiful presentation, and a very charismatic CEO with Shai Agassi. How much money do you think you can burn with such a business model if you don't test it, if you actually mistake vision and hallucination? What do you think? How much money did they burn? Anybody know the number? It was a pretty well-funded startup. <laughs> it's not just in the millions, Ian. It's $850 million. And all that remains today of Better Place is out, <laughs> you know, dying battery swapping infrastructure. So here's the thing. The business plan looked great. The vision looked great. Noble goal. But they didn't test and adapt the idea. That didn't work back then. Today, actually, you have companies that are doing this. So it doesn't mean because it didn't work in the past, it's not going to work in the future. But back then, they did a couple of things wrong. And they could have fixed it probably if they had tested and adapted the value proposition the business model. So the key lesson I want you to take away here is that for every one of your failures, I'm sure you had great PowerPoint decks and spreadsheets that looked awesome. So Scott Cook, co-founder and chairman of the biggest personal finance company in the world, Intuit, likes to say this, and that's the challenge. We sometimes think if the idea looks great, we can pick it and we invest in it, we execute. In innovation, you don't know what's going to work. So the process is different. You actually admit that you don't know. So while you design as if you were right, you immediately test as if you were wrong, okay?